What is going on guys? It is Blink here back with a new guide. So in this guide we'll be talking about a few high ground tips. Also the V-Bucks giveaway is still going on so make sure to visit the link in the description to enter. And lastly don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as opposed to the Amazon gift card code in the comments every time I upload. By turning on notifications you'll have a way better chance of getting here first and redeeming that code. Anyways guys let's get to this guide. Now in this first example I'll explain the right times to pressure your opponents as you're building off. We built off for the high ground and I was able to get above my opponent and jumped onto his platform to get a stronger pump shot into him. Got off 3 shots as he fell off the platform resulting in a knock. Had to now worry about his teammate. So I held the high ground and made sure to look around. What ended up happening was that another squad showed up. They tried building up to me but I've got a huge advantage over both of them because I'm a few floors above them and that allows me to take more shots as they try building up. The moment I took off my first opponent's shield, I dropped down and put the pressure on him because I don't want him to heal. If you've done enough damage to one opponent, try knocking him while building cover from his teammate which is exactly what I did. Dropped down, got the knock and as I got the knock I built walls and stairs to block any shots from his teammate. Now I dropped myself down to the bottom because remember, I ended up knocking the first player so I don't know if he's getting revived or if he's already revived and healing up. Ended up finishing him so his teammate can't get the revive off and now I just have to worry about the player above. Now he's got the high ground and I could build myself up but I can utilize either bounce traps or a jump pad to instantly get the high ground back. If you use a jump pad like I did, you want to get into cover as soon as you can because you're floating in the air and it's a pretty easy shot to hit. Luckily I was able to land on the top platform without taking rocky damage. At that moment I built myself a few stories higher to get a bit ahead of my opponent. I instantly put on the pressure to not allow him to build up and ended up doing a decent amount of damage and took off his shields. So I went for the aggressive play for the finisher. Anytime I take out someone's shields I'll usually go for the push because it's a pretty easy elimination as it only takes a shot or two with the shotgun. Now this next example had a few players having a build off. You can already notice they might be an issue to fight off. Now I don't have to try to outbuild them in this situation. I can make a smart decision instead. You don't always have to outbuild someone. Start thinking, think about a good way of potentially giving yourself an advantage. For example, this was a duos game and that's two players fighting. So that's potentially four players I'd have to fight. Now what I'd usually do is wait for a team to finish a fight. That way I can potentially fight two players that need to heal. Although in this situation, I noticed two players down. So as a result, there were only two players fighting and they built pretty high. So guess what? Finding those weak materials to get the structure to collapse can do some serious damage to both players and that's exactly what I did. Found the three ramps holding up the structure and collapsed the structure which ended up eliminating both players so as a result I had four players worth of loot because I waited for the right moment to strike. If you've caught up to two teams fighting make sure you analyze the situation and strike at the right time. Increase your chances of getting that win. Now in this next situation I explain a few useful quick tips. So as I got close to this player I tried building to block him from shooting and when you're close to your opponent most of the time you'll not be able to build the shots because you'll most likely phase right through all your materials or you'll end up being in front of them. You can see I pull up my gun as soon as he phases through the first floor. Had I kept my materials out I was dead. So if you and your opponent are basically touching pull out that shotgun and take those shots. The person that has a better accuracy will get the knock. If you're not the greatest at close range fights that's fine. As long as you're repeating the same steps I just explained you'll improve your accuracy over time. I also want to mention if you're going for the elimination on a player box him in first that way you don't lose any of the loot. I'll do this anytime I need some sort of meds or I'll need more loot. You build yourself cover from their teammates and you won't need to go scavenge for their loot after the fight. Well guys that's it for this guide. Hopefully I've helped some people out and a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated as it does help me out a lot. Anyways guys thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day or night and I'll see you on the next one.